Okay, today is the day that we get to complete our worry monster. And the first way I'm gonna show you is how to take a box and turn it into your worry monster. Before we even do anything with the box, we need to collect some materials. So you're probably gonna need some crayons, markers, um, colored pencils, anything that you have to add color. You are definitely gonna need a glue stick. You'll need some tape and you'll need any type of box um, that you can find. So you can use a cereal box, you can use a Ziploc box, you can use, I use this recycled box that had markers in it, um, and you will need some scissors. Now, I created all of my facial features from my sketch, so this is the sketch of my monster, using construction paper. You might not have construction paper at home, and that is totally fine. You can take white paper, and just draw the different shapes and cut them out, okay? That's up to you. Or if you have construction paper and you don't wanna have to cut out every single part of the nose, like say you have a blue nose and you just wanna color that stripe or the nostrils, you can do that as well. So I want you to take the time and go ahead and create all your different pieces. So I'm gonna start with my eyeball. And so I cut the green part all out. I'm gonna add my blue, my not my blue yet, my black part. And then you see how his eyes look sleepy. So I'm gonna put some eyelids on there. And remember, you can change things around and make them look different. So you can see that my eyes do look a little bit different than the picture, and that's totally cool because a sketch is there to guide you. So a lot of people were like, Mr. Castro, I don't want to have to um, sketch out my monster. I want to go right to making my monster. And I said, be patient um, because having a sketch definitely helps you organize your thoughts, which is the pro process of um, problem solving is really starting with the problem, seeing what it is, and then coming up with possible solutions um, before you get to your final solution. So you can see I changed things around. And when I said that you could add crayon, I will add some crayon on right now. So those lines I can add in with crayon. If I had a marker, I could add it in with marker. Um, so this is what I was saying is that you could take the paper and you can actually use crayon or color to kind of add in different details. So I could have colored it green and then added black, but I chose to use paper. Um, and now I'll just glue together the nose. That's my final little piece I need to glue. And when I was drawing my nose, I forgot about the wart that's on it right here. And I also changed my colors around a little bit. Um, because it's what I have on handy, like what colors I have handy. So I know that I made my majority skin this blue, but I'm actually going to switch it around a little bit and just play around with the colors. I know that I wanted to use green, blue, and orange. Okay, there's that. Okay, so my facial features are done. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just situate those to the side. And now I'm going to work on my box. So you might have like a box that has like a flap that opens up. You will want to go ahead and take your tape and you're gonna wanna secure that. Now, if you have a zip, empty Ziploc bag, box I'll show you what to do at the end with that because you will actually not have to cut a hole out you can actually use the flap that's on the box or use the hole that's there to create your mouth so I did not create my mouth yet okay so I definitely went ahead and taped all the sides this is pretty tight, so I don't need to add any tape over here. And then you need to measure out paper for each side. So you can see I already started that. I just traced around this side. 
I need to do one for there, so I just moved it over. Using the edge as a side, I traced it. I turned it over on its other side, lined it up, traced it. Now, again, if you don't have construction paper but you have paint, you could just do it with paint. You could just paint your box. Um, I do like the look of construction paper, so I used my construction paper and then I traced it around. So I have all these different rectangles that I'm going to cut out and I'm going to glue. Okay. Before I glue, I want to have I want to have a hole, right, for my mouth. So I'm going to very carefully and you can ask your parent to help you with this. I'm going to take the side of my scissor. I'm going to just poke a hole. Okay? I poked a hole. I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to little cuts. Now, I want my mouth to be big enough to eat up my worry. But I don't want to cut it completely out. And the reason why I don't want to cut it completely out is because I want my mouth to open and close. So you can see that I have a, a mouth right here, okay? That will not affect this paper until we get to this side. So I'm going to pause the video, cut out these pieces, and I'm going to show you how to put your monster together. Okay, so now I have cut out the sides and I actually took my crayons and created a pattern. Um, so I know that on my original sketch I made them have spots, but now I made them have some stripes. Now the next step is to take your glue and glue all these pieces on. And for the sake of time, I already glued on a few pieces. Um, and now I'm going to go in and add the last few pieces, including the top. So the top we are going to play with so it can open up. I'll teach you how to do that. So you just kind of place this on. And guess what? It might be a little bit too big. And that's really fine. Actually, it's probably better if it's a tad bit too big because you know you have coverage. It looks like I did a perfect job cutting that one. Um, we'll see if I did a perfect job on this side as well. And you always want to use the side um, to glue on the side that has the pencil marks. You want to leave the nice clean side without pencil marks. So I'm glue that down. And yep, it's a little bit longer. You can see here, all I have to do is take my pen, my scissors and just trim it up. Now, when I do the top, I've already cut this whole piece right here. But here's the thing, guys. It needs to have a flap to open as well. So what I do is I take the flap, I bring it right up against here, okay? And I'm going to trace around the flap. Okay. Now, mind you, when I cut this out, I'm going to come inside that pencil mark. I'm going to come inside that pencil mark or crayon mark. Okay. Just inside of it because I know it's going to be a little bit big. Okay, so I'm going to glue that on and I can put it there or I'm going to put it on here. Oops. Got stuff rolling all over the desk. Lots of glue. I know you never hear Miss McAster say lots of glue when it comes to a glue stick, but for this we need lots of glue. So it'll stay on the box. Oh no. I'm going to have to figure this one out. So, oops. It looks like I pretty much kind of messed this up. No big deal. I'm going to get some orange paper. Or actually, it looks like I have no more orange paper. So again, have to problem solve. 
Um, let's see. I have some yellow or green. Hmm. Let's see. I guess I'll do green. So this is what I'm talking about, people. It's okay if you make some mistakes because you just figure out another way. And I didn't have enough orange paper, so I'm going to pick a color that I have. And can the face be different? I think so. Ooh, I'm getting sticky fingers. Hard to trace with the glue. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in the garbage. There are no real mistakes in art. Um, your piece turns out exactly the way you would need it. And this is still a little bit too big there. Let's come and trim it up. Let's see if it'll fit now. Almost. up a little bit more. Okay. So it basically is fitting on right now. I'm going to glue that down. Not worried about that. I'll add teeth there. Just give me a moment and I will be right back. I'm going to pause it for time's sake. Okay. So I added the top on for my um, top of my face and I did add in the same pattern and I glued it down. So the mouth is a different color and that's okay. Now remember how I had that white piece right there I didn't like so I added on my teeth because when it's closed it just looks maybe like a, a lip. Um, okay, so that part is all done and so I am going to go ahead and start adding on my details. So I'm gonna add on my eyes. Again, so I don't, I want, I can position them however I want. Now look, my eyebrows won't fit, so I will probably just glue them right onto my eyes because you can have things come off of, oops, of your box. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna add an eye here, add an eye over here. Put him down. Oh my gosh, this looks adorable already. Okay, and I wanna add on my nose. <laughs> okay. And now for my ears. So I can have my ears come on like this, or I can fold them, put the glue here, and stick them on the side. And that is actually what I am going to do. I'm gonna put them at an angle. <laughs> he kinda looks like a fish, which is okay. And I'm pretty happy, actually, with changing just the um, color of the top of the box, or like probably like the like the head part, face part of my box. Um, I think it kind of looks cool, and you can see my sketch and him look pretty different. Now look, I did the same thing that I did before. I took my top, because I want to do the inside of my mouth, I pushed it down and I traced it. And then I cut it out and added some teeth. So that is going to be my last step. 
And you can get way more detailed with yours if you'd like. But now my monster is done. And he's... I mean, he looks pretty cool. And he'll eat up the worry. No worries. We don't want stress. Um, now look, I made a few other boxes based on this one. Um, and so this is the one that I said with the Ziploc, um, the Ziploc bag box. And um, you can see that it's a little bit disheveled here, but that's fine. Um, but the flap is already there. And so what I did was I turned it on its side and I would trace around it. So you're going to have to use some problem solving, but here's my other monster inspired by that sketch. I did quite a few videos. Here's another box. That's the long ways. So these two are horizontal. This one is uh, vertical. And again, my mouth is a little bit funny, but it's still raw. But it eats all worry. No more worries. Okay, have fun. I can't wait to see the pictures of your um, worry monsters using a box. Um, if you don't have a box, there will be another video available for you. Okay, bye.